If you don't got no sauce, then you, you, you're lost. Mm -hmm. But you can also get lost in the sauce. Alrighty guys, so it has been a minute since we had did a last upload. Yeah. I know that, and uh, this video, for right now at the very beginning, we're just gonna let you know what's gonna happen uh, for the next kind of little project we got going on. And as you can see, my car is here. It's here in the shop, it's back. Got Doc here, he's chilling. But what's gonna happen with this thing is that we are going to pull the motor. The motor is coming out. So um, this motor's been in here for quite a minute for at least like six months and it runs strong it's freaking it's still a stock b20 stock b20 sleeves all it has is uh rods and pistons nothing crazy it made uh 450 on eight pounds and now it's on 10 pounds so like high 400s 500s so i'm kind of i'm really glad for what this motor was able to do honestly because a lot of people talk down on the b20s they're like ah oh, man you crack rings and stuff or not rings you crack the uh the like middle of the block like the bore that's where it cracks in between the sleeves so i mean i i've been beating the hell out of this thing i'm not gonna lie i've ran the shit out of it like a lot a lot a lot a lot and it's taken everything and i, I mean I, it might be from all the parts and stuff but honestly it's still a stock block like you can't really say anything more about it so the thing that we're going to do is we're going to yank out the motor um, we're going to use the rods for the challenge car. So what we got going on with the challenge car is we're going to do a nitrous setup that we have to kind of piece all together. So long story short, internals uh, are coming out of this to go into that. So that's what we got going on. Um, also another thing, um, I <laughs> ran out and grabbed this multi-surface protection film because for some reason every time a car is in the shop it gets dinged and dented so we don't want that especially I don't want that with the car I want to keep it as clean as possible and uh, just kind of protect it so that's what we're going to be doing for right now we're going to uh, kind of just wrap the whole car with some protective film I don't want to put no car cover over it because dust and dirt gets under this and it'll scratch the paint up and if you guys didn't know this is the original paint on the car nothing it's just been buffed and really clean and I took really good care of it so I want to protect it so that's what we're gonna do <laughs> Dude, this thing looks funny. <laughs> it looks minty. It'll be cool after we get like a, a third layer because then it turns like extra green because this is like transparent. But we still got to keep going with it. Alright guys, so now that that's on, don't worry, I'm going to be able to open the door. I just gotta cut out the line right there, but it's fully wrapped, and this stuff is thick, man. Like, it really doesn't sound that thick, but it is, it's, like a it's Ziploc, super thick. Like Ziploc bag kind of material. Yeah. It's so, a way to have some extra protection, so. You can't never have too much. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna cut that out, make sure it's all... Uh, kind of just push down. It's not gonna come off cut out the wheel wells and just make it look like a wrap I mean not too not too crazy, but it's gonna protect the paint. That's for sure. That's what that's what we want All right guys, so another news uh, my brother Jonathan is going to be uh, Painting his engine bay and I don't know. I just kind of wanted to get that on camera. So tomorrow we're gonna go over to um, his house and we'll get all the stuff that he needs to paint his engine bay he's pretty good at painting stuff he taught me how to paint so i mean if you guys liked any of my uh uh engine bay painting stuff that i did i mean it still looks great it's just the seam sealer just gets all nasty because it's not really supposed to be painted but for the most part the whole engine bay is still great <laughs> none of the paint has chipped off 
And like I said, if you guys want a little tutorial video, that's what we're going to be doing for tomorrow. And um, we'll just pick up on that later. guys we are here at our job me and Jonathan we work together uh, we work for our um, my uncle's company we do granite countertops and my uncle's kind enough to let us borrow the shop here and paint Jonathan's engine bay so we went just right now like you guys saw went to go clean the engine bay take out all the uh, loose dirt all the the grease or anything that is going to prevent the paint from sticking so we're gonna wipe it down really really clean with some acetone probably scuff up a little bit of spots here and there that we need to Jonathan also wanted to paint his brake booster make it all nice and clean take out all the rust um, but for the most part the car is really clean it's just really old this is a 99 Honda Civic SI legit EM1 so I guess we're gonna take the steps and uh, kind of just show you guys how we paint. So yeah, if you guys are wondering why he's got a green shock tower and then this side's red, well, because when Jonathan first bought the car, um, I don't know, you want to explain to him, Jonathan? When I bought the car, they said, or the guy said a tree fell on it, but I was like, no. A tree fell on it. Yeah, supposedly a tree fell on it, but it was, it was in a wreck, so this frame was all messed up, this was all jacked up. I, I just didn't like how it was, so went to the junkyard, cut it. Cut one off of another car. Yeah. Uh, drilled out all the spot welds. We literally got a sawzall and cut straight a line straight on here from a uh, obviously a green Civic. <laughs> yep. So yeah, that's what we did. All right, guys. So we got the whole engine bay all scuffed up with Scotch Brite pads. Um, the next step that we're going to take on it is kind of blow off all the dust first, get all that off, then wipe it down with acetone. We're gonna wipe it all clean 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 as possible as you can um the scotch bright did an amazing job i mean that's what it's supposed to do just scuff it up and make it a good surface to for the paint to stick on so uh next step like i said acetone The engine bay is fully prepped, sanded, primered where it needs to be, and ready to go. So, Johnson's gonna kick on the air compressor and uh, spray away.
<laughs> Alrighty guys, we just did the first layer of base coat. We're going to let it uh, dry for about 15 minutes. If you want, you need to go lightly on it, you know, just to get it real tacky. Let it uh, dry for just a little bit. And then after that, we'll give it a good, good base coat. Or not base coat, I guess you would say a secondary coat. Um, but go a little more heavier on it. But for right now, it's it's looking great all one color. Well, all right, all right, guys. So our final layer of base coat is on and it looks great. It's full coverage, perfect thickness, what we need. Uh, obviously the base coat is not going to give any shine because it is just base coat. Um, so we're gonna let this dry for about 45 minutes before we hit it with the clear, and the clear is gonna make it look super, super, super glossy. So that's what makes uh, kind of just the paint and shine. So right now we just gotta play the waiting game. All right guys, so it's been about 45 minutes. The paint is pretty much dry. Uh, me and Jonathan just went to go get some fades real quick. But now, we're gonna mix up the clear coat, make sure it's all good and ready to go, and then we'll start spraying. Well, what are we using? Huh? What are we using? Clear coat? What is that? Ratios. Four to one ratio. Four to one. Dude, that thing's clear. Yeah, I'm gonna spill it. I'm gonna spill it now. I'm gonna make a mess. Clean. Well, what are we using? Huh? What are we using? Clear coat? What is that? Ratios. Four to one ratio. Four to one. Dude, that thing's clear. Yeah, I'm gonna spill it. I'm gonna spill it now. I'm gonna make a mess. Clean. I don't wanna spill it. I'm gonna break it now. Good. Good stuff is strong. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's nasty. It's fucking nasty. Mix it up. Yeah, this stuff is really strong. Oh man. Good thing we got the fan and the respirators we'll put on. But yeah, I don't know. We'll just spray it and just get out of here. Let it dry. Leave the heater running. That heater works great. So we'll be alright. All right, before we end off this uh, episode, we're gonna announce the two winners for the best Honda comment um, that we put on YouTube right there for you guys to watch. So Ron's gonna read them out real quick. Here we go. All right, so runner up was, what do third gear and my sex life have in common? I can never get it in. 
<laughs> that was funny. I thought that was. That was pretty good. So you got second place. You got you a free shirt. Get a auto size That's, shirt. That's uh, Mike Hunt. At least get that Mike anymore. Hunt. Wait a second. Yeah. We're gonna get, get some. Mike Hunt. We are sending you out a T-shirt. Uh, hit us up uh, from Instagram. You can hit up me uh, or um, Jeremy. Just hit either one of us up on Instagram, and we'll get your shirt to you. All right. So the winner, absolute winner, <laughs> hands down, most definitely, is the winner. Uh, racing a Honda is like the Special Olympics. Even if you win, you're still retarded. Bro. <laughs> that really, what? really hit home. So. <laughs> That is uh, Stovey, S-T-O-V-Y. You got a free shirt. You, you get a free Vato Sauce shirt. Yes, awesome. hit us up. You get it. Let us know your size, where we're sending it. You can hit us up on Instagram, and that's it, man. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys. If you don't got no sauce, then you're lost. Mm -hmm. But you can also get lost in the sauce.